Hi everybody, welcome back. We're doing yet another tactile sensory art and craft. Today is probably the most common art and craft that people think of. We're going to paint today. We're gonna to use finger paints. Um, but I have a surprise in that today is also going to come with the option to make it more handwriting focused and less tactile sensory. If that's something your house needs, um, then here's an option. So I have some construction paper. I have my paint. We'll see how well the red shows up on the pink. Um, and I would use my finger ordinarily to just paint whatever. And if you don't like the thickness of a certain type of paint or whatever paint you have, you can always move some to a separate bowl, add just a little bit of water um, and water it down to make more of a water paint and that will provide you less of a thick texture and more of a runny watery texture. So whatever is really kind of a struggle for you or for your child, that's where I recommend you start trying to work towards. Um, if you do okay with real runny watery textures but maybe thicker consistencies are hard for you water down the paint and build up over the next couple of weeks while we do a weekly art and craft or a weekly painting day um if you're fine with the thicker textures but watery textures are really hard start with the paint as is and water it down um gradually build up your tolerance. Uh, so what I'm gonna show you again, as per this week, one to cut down on the mess on my end for interacting with technology, um, but two, just to keep everything kind of moving along. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it to work on your handwriting. So you can take a Q-tip and I would recommend a Q-tip over something like a paintbrush um, just because the Q-tip is shorter and it will allow us to almost basically force us to use more of a pencil grip to hold it because it's so thin and tiny and short. So we can't really kind of cheat. There's no room um for any of the funky bizarre ways we might cheat and hold our pencil or our q-tip so again i'm going to go over pencil grip and then i'm going to get right into it so the way we hold our pencil is we take our pointer finger and our thumb and we use the pads or the front of the fingers and we place the pads on the q-tip my q-tip has a purple middle if yours has a white middle or a pink middle or a blue middle you just want to be on the plastic and off of the cotton with the pads of your fingers i gave myself a little bit of space then i take that third finger and i rest it next to the cotton swab or the pencil or pen or whatever it may be as a support and then I take my last two fingers and I tuck them away so here we go I'm gonna dip into my finger paint and I'm gonna go about my picture I'm not a very good artist I tend to actually just write or letter when given the opportunity um, but you may, and I encourage you to use this as a fun little way to work on your art projects. Um, if any of them involve finger painting or regular painting, but you just want to use alternate materials or you don't have paint brushes. Um, this is a good option. And we just keep 
going. I apologize for any extra sounds. There is construction going on next door. Some home renovations. And so I'm just continuing using that pencil grip. And you can use it to work on writing letters. You can use this method. Um, and this is good actually even if you just do the finger paints, no matter what texture you use. This is a good way to learn your letters and your letter formation. So maybe going back to those letter formation videos and using those um, because when we learn our handwriting with some sensory input or some tactile or sensory experiences, we tend to remember those things a bit more. Um, so I, I would recommend that. That's a good idea um, for something to do. And then I am finishing up my little art project and I will share it with all of you in just a second. I don't know how well we're gonna be able to see it with the uh, red paint on the pink paper, but I did the best I could. So I don't know if we can read that. It says, I miss you. And I do. I miss you guys very much. So hopefully this is a fun little art project you guys can work on and enjoy either getting tactile and touch friendly with the finger paints or continuing to work on our pencil grip. Uh, let me know and let me see your art as you make it. I would love to be a part of that. Um, and have a great day. Keep occupied and I'll see you again next time. Bye.